Topping our newscast here at 5 o'clock, a shocking video surfacing on the internet alleges Bakersfield police officers used excessive force when arresting a man while many in the community watched. 17's Michaela Armstrong joins us in studio with what we know and don't know so far about this investigation. Michaela? Tammy, as BPD strives to work towards closing the trust gap with the community, to some, this is a step in the wrong direction. It happened on May 5th at an apartment on the 3700 block of Q Street near Memorial Hospital. It started on the balcony. Then things escalated quickly, according to a neighbor. All these police cars with the handcuffs on them. And then everything happened fast. From upstairs, I see he was hit, the couple hitting him up a ton on him. Now a video of the incident is circulating the internet. They hit him with a stick. Depicting BPD officers using batons on suspect 41-year-old Jason Crawford when arresting him. Nadine Escalante is a member of the Bakersfield Community Policing Team, a group that meets with BPD's top brass to enable communication between the department and the people it serves. She says the incident is a setback. It breaks the bridge that we have already begun to build. It breaks it to where we have to reestablish it once again. According to arrest records, Crawford was charged with kidnapping, domestic violence, resisting officers, and battery on peace officers. And Crawford has an arrest record that goes back 20 years. Retired BPD officer Chuck Sherman, who now teaches and trains officers on use of force, says there may be more to what the video shows. As you're meeting violence with violence at some sort of level, whether it's pushing somebody down or all the way to deadly force. It never looks good. And those officers have to wor work their way through that muddy waters from the second they get the call till the very end of the use of force. According to BPD, Crawford was arrested and taken to the hospital and is in stable condition. But according to images obtained by 17 News and friends of the family, he is in a coma, which can make the recording key to holding the officers accountable for his injuries, according to Escalante. This is why it's so important that the community records these incidents. They didn't realize there was people watching. And I think that's really important for our law enforcement to understand is there is people watching all the time now. According to BPD policy, officers can use force that reasonably appears necessary given the facts and totality of the circumstances known to or perceived by the officer at the time of the event. And Sherman says it's a decision made quickly to protect the public. It's hard just to say on any use of force, right or wrong. We have to encompass everything that's there then make our decision in seconds. That's where the difficulty comes from. Yet Escalante says these officers need to be held accountable and that starts with placing them on paid leave. That would give the community a sense of peace and a sense of true accountability by the department and by the city of Bakersfield. According to BPD, a use of force investigation is underway and the involved officers remain on full duty. Many unanswered questions remain, and a BPD spokesperson sent facts of the arrest but wouldn't be interviewed. We will continue to update this story as we know more. Michaela Armstrong, 17 News.